Finally got the projector screen on. And then I can just roll it up and down like I want to. I also have a sound bar over here with some old speakers that I had connected to my base. And then I redesigned the storage up there just to make it stronger and look a bit better. And I have to say the Workbench that I built came in clutch. It works so well, I can stand on it and it's just very convenient. But anyway, I'll probably end up never using it. I haven't made a video in quite a while, but in the last one, we did establish that it can do massive burnouts without the engine falling out. <laughs> Unfortunately, every now and then it will start making this weird ticking sound. Yeah, let me stop before I break something. As well as having a really hard time starting up in the morning. keeps drowning out spark plug number one and number six in some kind of liquid um, it's a mixture between fuel and oil it seems to be so I have to change out the spark plugs and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so I still need to figure out that but I wanted to get the oil pressure gauge in there so that I can see what the oil pressure is doing And as soon as you get up in the higher RPMs, the oil pressure does drop. It also developed a nasty power steering fluid leak, but at least that was an easy fix. In my last video I asked you guys if you might know what it can be and I got this comment. So thanks a lot to this guy for suggesting the thicker oil and I will be doing that. The oil I used before was a 15W40 and now I'm going to try this Shell Helix HX320W50. It's for diesel and petrol engines and it says high mileage so hopefully it's a bit thicker and it'll solve our problems. So let's get the oil changed out.
have it. I got the new engine oil in there and the ticking noise seems to be a problem of the past. So over the weekend, we did some more testing on the car. So here's a few clips of that. but that'll have to wait until the car is a bit more dialed in. You probably saw in some of the clips that I made this cover. So I found this one in a junkyard, but the tabs were broken off and it's kind of damaged. So I didn't want to reuse it. So I just took off the badge over here and then I made this one out of sheet metal. And I think it looks kind of good. I had to cut the hood some more for it to fit, but it fits perfectly now. And thanks again for that comment. To me, that's that's pretty amazing um, that people are willing to help. Now you have to remember that I got this engine in a junkyard, so it did not look pretty. Here's a picture of how it looked before. And this is what we have at the moment. I bought this cover over here, kind of looks good. I'm happy with it. And then I bought this one over here just to cover the injectors. And the fuel rail makes it look a bit cleaner. Still need to figure out what I'm going to do over here. That was just stuff I had laying around that I used. I want to remake the intake manifold. Because when I bought the engine, I had no idea if it'll even run or not. So I just slapped that together just to get it up and running. But the problem with that is, well, there's a couple of problems. Um, I think it's way too small. I don't think the airflow is enough for the engine. Another thing is I have nowhere to put an air filter on or, or route some pipes for an air filter. So I really want to remake that. I'll probably do that in the next video. Here's a screenshot of the audio meter of a video I made when I removed the old engine from the car. And then this is the audio meter now. So I've driven about 425 kilometers with the car and the engine seems to be kind of healthy, but I still have the issue of it not wanting to start up when it's cold. And that's what I need to figure out. Um, so, so over here, I got the heat gauge moved from over here because I need the cup holder. Funny enough, uh, moved it to over there, get it to work again. I have the starter button over here now, and then the launch control button is over there. Just nice and easy to reach. Not like before when I had it in the ashtray and it was kind of hard to get to. Also built like a bracket for the oil pressure gauge. Anyway, I just really suck at explaining things. So I guess let's get into it and remove what I can and start testing and seeing what I can figure out. Nothing ever goes to plan, so let's just get into it and figure out what is the problem. Let's get this intake manifold off. And there we have it. So then now we can go ahead and do a compression test. So I have this thing screwed in hole number one. I have that to kind of show you guys what I see. So let's go ahead and do the compression test. Also have the battery on charge.
Oh, 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 oh,